Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and Facebook page, Crochea Graph. And remember, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Hi, welcome to Crochet Graph Patterns. I just wanted to go through and show you how to crochet the half double crochet on the pattern draft three. I'm working at it from top to bottom and I just want to show you all the bobbins. I have a stitch marker here that holds my last stitch and I have bobbins all along for every color change. They're on the front and the back and the back I've actually cut the ends where I didn't need them anymore, and then there's the other bobbins. So, we're going to start off and continue with color changes. Here's the pattern, and I highlighted what I've completed in green. So, right now I'm on row 33, and I'm going to do 14 brown and then 11 cream stitches. So, 14 brown. One, two, three, four. I have to undo this bobbin, let it just flutter down. I'm doing a half double crochet. So that's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. So you have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. I like this stitch, it keeps my mind occupied more than uh, the single crochet. So we are working on the giraffe three pattern and we're coming up to a color change here. And so, the pattern shows 14 brown, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, and on the 14th, on the last one, that's where you yarn over, go through, yarn over and pull up, and you have three on the hook. This is where you do your color change. So I just gently lay it down, roll up my bobbin so that it's a little under control. I put it to the back. And the next color is cream, so it says 11 cream. So I just grab the cream, let the bobbin fall for a little bit, and we're gonna count 11. So that's where you change the color. I just pulled it through on the last stitch. So you have your three on the hook, and you pull through your new color, and there it is. And then what you do is yarn over. I always go under this little diagonal strand that is made and it hides it a little bit better and I just as I go I see I'm tightening with my fingers I'm just tightening the yarn so that it's nice and snug that it fits the hook the hook that I'm using is 4.5 millimeters I use that on almost all of my projects and so I yarn over and I pull through to make the half double crochet and here's a great um, example where the blue had ended. When I had ended the blue, you know, I just get, I just push the bobbins to the back of the work. And then when I find that there's been enough space, so I really just give it a good six inches of thread. Um, you know, where does it start? Here to here. It's like my wrist. That's where I trim it. I just cut it because if you watch the videos that I have of sewing ends in, you'll see how I do it. And I'll explain it real quickly right now is that I go through, let's see if I can use this. I go through it like in C, like the letter C, and I'll put it on the needle and I'll go through underneath all these here, pull up, and then 
I'll go through under here and pull up. And what that'll do is it tightens it a little more and then I'll push the needle through the center of that and pull it up. And then it gives like a little button knot and you can just tighten it and it hides really well. And, when, and then you just trim it flush with the material. And if you wash it, it won't come out because what you've done is intertwined it in all of the fibers and then you've turned it backwards into the fiber itself. So it will never come undone. And if it does, you just take another piece of thread and sew the hole closed. Um, so back to here, we're on cream. We're doing the giraffe three. Um, I have to do 11 cream stitches. So yeah, I get a little sidetracked because uh, you know, there's a lot of elements to the project. I really would like to try uh, corner to corner. I haven't yet done that. I've tried it once or twice, um, but I do like half double crochet more, I'd have to say. So I'll have to give C2C a, a real try eventually. So here we go, 11 cream, two, four, six, eight, 10. Here's 11, okay. And we'll just drop that, tie it back up. And here, the next one is brown. So I'll show you on the pattern. We're looking at row 33. And I have done those 14 brown, and now I'm on the seven brown. So I usually highlight it green, but for this I'm not doing it right now. It's just brown seven and then another 12 cream. So here's the brown, it's already hanging there. Just open it up. Pull through. I forgot to explain that. Apologize. Hopefully by watching, it makes sense. My grandma actually taught me how to crochet when I was about 10 or 12 and I picked it up after a few years, but I had to finally look at a video to really understand all the different stitches before the internet. And then I got into all these graph gans and I've been doing that ever since. So what are we doing? Um, seven brown, two, four, six, seven, oopsie, we have too many. So all I have to do, let's count that, two, four, six, and this is seven. And we know that on the last is when we do the color change. So I'm going to just pull out that seven. And now I'm on six, I'm gonna do the seven again, but I'm not gonna finish it. You know how if you go over and you finish it, you don't do that. So you just hold it to the back with your finger, pick up the, first, the next color, and you see it is a distance away, but that's not a big deal because you're doing 12 of them and it overlaps and you can hide that. And then a lot of my patterns, I try to avoid those awkward one stitch areas that would require more bobbins. I uh, really like the challenge of using lots of bobbins and doing intricate projects. However, over time, I've come to adore the ones with simple, less bobbins, bright colors, and little uh, cartoon animals. So it says 12 cream. So let's count how many we have now. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and on the last one, don't finish it, push it to the back, you grab the next color, and it is blue. So, talking of bright colors, I love this blue.
and with the bobbins it does get bulky but um just wrap it up in a blanket i'll put my whole piece of work on a blanket and then i'll fold it up like a big sandwich burrito and then none of the ends fall out and that's how i store it so here you can see as i'm passing over the green we no longer need that green because we're doing 30 blue which will take us almost to the end. And I'll show another color change. Oops, missed that one. And I'm always holding my tension. I've figured out my tension. It takes practice, but when you feel the weight of the blanket, then you know when you're pulling your hooks through this is a 4.5 millimeter hook i'm using so here we're going across we're bypassing another bobbin that won't be used anymore and i just continue my work I used to be much slower. I've seen people who are so fast at doing this. And then you see those ones that say, oh, I finished that in five days. And I'm going, five days? It takes me like three or four months. Even if I spent eight or 10 hours a day watching TV and crocheting like I sometimes will do, I, uh, I still can't finish it in a record amount of time. So that's quite crazy to think that it would be that quick. All right, so here we got a big tangle. So now what I'll just do is get some order and structure here. I'll just wrap up my bobbins that are all over the place here. This one. Even if there's just a little bit, I still wrap it up because you wouldn't believe that a whole little six inches of thread would cause a knot <laughs> to form. Okay, so that's all good. That's still on. And now what we're going to do is it said 30 blue and then two green. So I could just go to the end and do two, but sometimes it'll trick you and you'll miss a stitch. So the best thing to do is just count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. And now we go thirty. And so what I'll do is I undo the green, pull it up, and I pull it up in front. I mean, because that's the next one. And I pull it through. And then you see how it kind of squished the blue? So all I do is I yarn over. I go under that diagonal thread, pull up. So yarn over, pull over, <laughs> yarn over, pull up pull through all three. That is an alliteration. So there, you're one half double and it's only asked for two. So you do the next one here in this end. There. And you just tighten all your threads. So now we're going to turn. So we always do chain one. Turn your work. And then you go yarn over pull into the first Pull. This creates that spine, that stem edge of the project. And then the pattern says, oh, I'm actually really wrong. So the pattern right here ended with the two green. And the next row starts with blue. So that's 
what we have to do. Just, this will be interesting because uh, this doesn't normally happen. So it's great learning. So as you remember, we did one stitch of green. It asks for two. So put this one in and just don't overthink it. Just, just follow it straightforward. Always keep into the, um, to the theory, to the, the formula. So now, okay. So what we can do is if we single crochet one and then turn, that already has to be blue. So what you have to do is now on the last one of the green, Pull up your three and then you can bring this blue across and you pull it through so sometimes you get a little surprise like that and here so you just tighten the green down I just hold it with my finger and I bring it all down hold it with my finger and thumb and then I go yarn or sorry, yarn over chain one and then I turn the work and yarn over and again it's got this weird blue so let's just underneath it push through that chain find your way through there now yarn over pull through you got three yarn over pull three there's your half double crochet next one yarn over go under that strand through the hook yarn over pull up yarn over pull through the three all the while holding it with your thumb so you have a nice tension so with my finger and my thumbs and my hook i've got this thing tight i've got it not tight but i'm holding it there's no there's all control there's nothing that's going to fly away and get all bouncy on me so the pattern says 33 blue we are going to go pretty much all the way across as you can see this was one of the leaves curling around and uh, this is the giraffe's ear so we're going from top to bottom and uh, i'll take you straight across and we'll do the cream color I think the hardest thing ever when I started crocheting was my tension of how do I make my fingers work at the same time to hold this thing under control because it squirms and it's flexible. But over time, I've come to figure it out and it's all just in your own fingertips that will come with practice. All right, should be coming to the end here. Uh, let's see, 33. So I'm gonna count one, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 
22, 24, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32. And then I, what I'll do is I'll take the thread and just move it out of the way a little bit with my thumb. Make my 33, only half of it. Put it to the back, hold it with my finger. Lift up my next color. And it's gonna be 12. So pull through and there's the color change. Now I yarn over and I go under that one strand. Mix cleaner, I yank, I'm oh, sorry, I Tighten the back with pulling this one and I'm holding this front one with my fingernail basically And that way I don't lose my tension. So when I pull it through now I shift my tension to those three hooks and Then just yarn over and pull through there's my tension now I go into the next one and everything I'm holding real tight at the base so that they don't slip And that's how I hold it. I used to think you just hold it like here and you can go through and it's like, oh my God, what's going on? Everything's tangled. But if you hold it snug, yarn over, you got control, yarn over, you got control, move your control up to your next area, yarn over, pull through, you got control of all of those. As soon as you got your thumb and finger controlled on the hook stem, you should be able to pull through without any tangles. And if they do, just pull them through a little bit harder. So yarn over and then it's already got that tunnel made. So let's make a count now. 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, I'm on 10, just finished 10. This is 11. Okay. And then we got 12. Now it's telling me the next color is blue. Sorry, no it's not, I'm incorrect. It's saying the next color is brown. So, undo the brown here let it kind of just spin away because that's where the tangles all crazy start happening and so I'll put my work down here try to find this cream I need to wrap it up because it's getting to be a mess already Lots of tangles. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to mark where we stop right now because we finished the last row. We've done the blue and we've done the cream. So that's where it says five brown. Okay. Well, if you don't mark your pattern off, it's it really confusing. You could actually read the same line over and over. So as you can see, I'm holding my tension there. I'm holding my tension really at the, uh, right here. This is where I hold my tension. That way, when you have these three hooks, they're not gonna go anywhere. So when you pull through, your yarn goes through. Okay, so that was, this is five and then cream. So there's four, here's five. And if you have a whale pattern made, then those color changes will come easily and more fluid because the colors, see as you can tell, it already it's already ready to go. This is Sorry about that, my video quit. 
as I was saying, is that with most of these patterns, this is one bobbin that's taken the color all the way to this point. There's no breaks in it and no uh, just weird color changes that just will add more difficulty. So that was the color change. Now this is kind of strange because as you can see, right in there, there's a little one. So I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go under that thread, go through the hook that you probably can't see because it just formed in there. Okay, I'm gonna pull this brown tighter and now I'm gonna yarn over and go through that. And then I go through the next one. So yes, at that point, that one gets a little squished, but it'll all hide in together and there won't be an issue. Now this one's, this one's getting more tangled. It's a bit of a tight one. All right, and this would probably be just a second. Start this one again. Sometimes you find yarns that have more tangle capabilities than others. Okay, so we're looking at 12 cream, two, four, six, eight, nine. That's 10, 11, and then the 12th end before it finishes. The next color is brown. It's a little bit tangly. There we go. We got it through. Now that we can take it through that brown diagonal thread through the hook, the loop, yarn over. You got three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And then do the second stitch. And then what I do is I go and I just give that little firm tuck. And we continue on. So I hope that helped everybody. Um, I know the detail makes a big difference. And look at that, we've come up to my stitch marker. So we've basically done a complete row. So thanks all for watching. Again, this is Crochet -a Graph Patterns. If you like what you see, just hit the like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.